Hey, what's up, buddies? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. My name is Beaker, and today I was just thinking, what is the best counter to the Royal Giant? H how do you take him down really quickly without him taking you down first? So, we're gonna go over that today. We're gonna look at some matches where everybody's using the Royal Giant, I'm using it, the other guy's using it, and we'll see some great counters. So this is gonna be simple stuff, guys, pretty pretty basic stuff. We're not in high up in the trophies or anything. This is just average stuff that you guys can definitely do, and you can see my favorite counter. It's in my deck right now. You can see it, right? Inferno Tower! <laughs> We're gonna just use the Inferno Tower against any heavy troops, like the Giant, the Royal Giant, Golem, Hog Rider, anything like that. Inferno. Boom. And we're going to use it right now. As soon as he's about to step off the bridge, we're going to drop it. I think that is the key right there. You want to be dropping it right as he is about to step off the bridge because that's when the Royal Giant starts to shoot you. As soon as he steps off, right? I think he takes like one step more and then he starts to shoot you. So drop that Inferno at the final second and you should get him before he even starts to target your tower. Anyway, let's look at the other side here. We're going to do an instant replay here and check out this barb minion combo against my royal giant. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it killed him, but it took a while. It took a while and we still got some hits in. Now, we used the zap. We also used the zap there and slowed them down, sure, but... I think it is so hard to counter the Royal Giant with just ground troops or even minions or even minion horde. It's very hard because they just don't do enough damage fast enough. You gotta be fast or you gotta distract that Royal Giant if you don't want him to kill you. Now there we saw the worst case scenario by far. We saw a person run out of elixir. OG Carter, he, he had no elixir to counter us so we just got tons of hits in. And that is when the Royal Giant is kind of cheap, you know? Like, like unfair, I mean. Like, when the, when the opponent doesn't have any elixir, they're going to get crushed. There is no doubt about it. They're going to get hit hard. So, speaking of getting hit hard, what did I just do? Like, wh I, what? <laughs> Why did I just, what? Why did I drop that fireball? I have no idea. Because now I need the fireball. You want to save that fireball for when you've got this situation right here. I don't know what I was thinking. So, anyway, uh... Get wrecked, Beak. Good job. <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played, Beak. You're awesome, bro. So anyway, you know, big mistake there, but we're going to come back. We're fine. We've almost got that left tower taken down, and the right tower is not too bad either. We're getting there. Here we go. There's another fireball. Just random. Just, just throw it. Who cares? We don't need it. Throw the zap too, Beak. Just... Just zap somebody. Actually, we're going to need the zap right here. We're going to zap the hog rider with a wizard in the back. Look at how good that worked. I think we only got hit once. So, zap, wizard, pretty good counter to the hog rider. I know the hog rider has, has, has always hit me the hardest out of like any card out there. I think the hog gets me gets me most often. So anyway, uh, we got a push that got the left tower there. And now we're going to go up the right side. We're going to get this. We're going to get it right now. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do like the dirtiest move ever. So first we're going to counter him right here. We're going to put the Inferno in the middle and the wizard on the right. But the wizard is going to help because he's so close. He can engage the people on the left. Now they're taken down and we're going to do the dirtiest move. Drop the Royal Giant right up front on the enemy's side, right in the middle. Check it out. Boom. He instantly turns, starts shooting. And no matter what the opponent does, they're getting wrecked. Boom. You done. Cool. Uh, OG Carter, good match, buddy. Definitely a good match. I enjoyed playing against the Giant there. I definitely like the normal Giant. He's a great card. And, you know, he has a lot more health than the Royal Giant. So he's still, you know, in his own world. He, he's an amazing card, too. I think the Giant is a, is a great card. And he's only five Elixir. So don't count the Royal... Uh, don't count the Giant out yet. You know, he's not, like... He's not, like, out of here just because the, the Royal Giant is so sick. But anyway, that's enough about Giant family. Let's move on. <laughs> so we got another match here with a guy using the Royal Giant, same as we are. But it's a completely different deck. It's not the same deck. And this guy does not have an Inferno Tower. But he does have the Elixir Pump. He does have the Wizard. Kind of, sort of, similar to us. I would assume he's going to try to do a similar push. Royal Giant wizard behind because that is so op royal giant wizard behind or any sort of splash damage behind that royal giant crazy so hopefully we can see that and we can try to counter that i'm interested to see what this guy does with this poison spell 
you guys will see in a minute. Now, I had a lot of hope for the poison spell. I thought it would really be good against the Royal Giant. Anyway, here we go. This guy got up to the tower and he started hitting our tower. We messed up. We didn't drop the Inferno early enough. Now, that's what I'm saying, guys. You want to drop that Inferno as soon as they're about to step off the bridge. So you target them and they target you. We want that Royal Giant hitting our Inferno, not our tower. So drop it when they're about to get off the bridge. I think that is the way to go, guys. Now, the princess, I hate you. <laughs> I don't hate you, but I don't have the princess, so I get so mad when it's sitting there sniping me. I'm like, no! Nah! Bro, just stop. Just stop stop sniping me with your princess. So, now we're going to drop the wizard and take out those barbs. Yeah! And we have no elixir, so we can't really do a push. Kind of a bummer. I wish we could drop a royal giant right now. Not going to happen. Okay, we're going to use minions. This was dumb. What are we doing? Uh, Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that just was, but we got one hidden. One. Cool. So now we're going to... I don't know what we're going to do. Drop a P.E.K.K.A.? What? Oh, this is interesting right here. So as far as ground troops go, I think the P.E.K.K.A. is going to be a great way to get some quick damage in on the Royal Giant. Now the mini P.E.K.K.A., she does insane damage for a four elixir troop. Insane damage. So I think there is potential there. I'm not sure what the damage per second is as far as mini P.E.K.K.A. versus minion horde versus barbs. Um, I think the mini P.E.K.K.A. is up there though. And as far as, you know, defensive cards, I love the mini P.E.K.K.A. because it does that crazy damage. But still, if you don't distract that royal giant, you're getting hit. You, like right here, we're getting hit because we don't have any distraction. So we had to take him down with just troops there and it took a lot it took so much effort to take him down there. I mean, what do we use? 10 elixir? Taking him down? Yeah. So there, why do we have an inferno? Uh, okay. Anyway, inferno down. Almost. Cool. I, I don't really want to waste my inferno, but it looks like I am. So now we've got to get back up the field. We only need a couple of hits in on that left side there. And this is it right here. Mini pack up for the win. Oh, wait. It wasn't the mini pack. It was actually the goblins. Cool, cool. So little, uh, <laughs> little late game win there in the overtime. We barely got that left tower down, but took it down and got the win. Good game, buddy. Good game. So that was interesting, right? Seeing the Royal Giant versus the Royal Giant. Two different decks. They were similar in some ways, different in some ways. That guy did not have any crazy defenses like the Inferno Tower. And I think that makes all the difference, man. I think it makes all the difference. Now we got one more here. Again, a player using the Royal Giant. Great to see because we can see counters on both sides here and we can see what works. Now from the first two we've seen, I would say troops just don't seem to cut it. Like even if you're using eight elixir worth of troops, they don't seem to kill the Royal Giant fast enough. You've got to have something to distract. So I still think using the Inferno Tower at the perfect moment is going to be the best way to kill him. The Royal Giant, that is. So right here, we've got troops trying to take us out. It was guards and barbs. Guards and barbs. <laughs> and we still got a ton of hits in. Like, look, look at how many we got in. We're down to, what, 1,700, 1,600, something like that? My eyesight is not so good. Did you guys know that? Anyway, uh, we got a uh, elixir pump there. We're going to troll him and hit it. Did you guys notice that? That the elixir pump now has way less hit points. It's less hit points. And if you hit it with a, with a fireball, it's it's almost dead. So we pretty much almost took it out. So right there, we did the perfect counter to the Royal Giant. We put the Inferno Tower down as soon as he started to step off the bridge and we took him out really, really quickly. Now we also put down some minions there, probably not necessary, but they did help take him out really quick. And you can tell, I mean, we, we really crushed this guy here. So now we're trying to defend and pretty good, uh, I guess that worked. We had some goblins and a wizard in the back. I think we might've used a zap spell as well. So we were able to stop him. Boom, looking good. And now he's got another elixir pump down. We're gonna go up the field here with a royal giant wizard push. This is it, man. This is the push you wanna be doing. Now right here, we have the minion horde and we can see, wow. I wanted to see the minion horde against the royal giant and they really did not take him down fast enough. Not at all. Like think about, like if you think about taking down a golem or a giant, you think minion horde, but in this case, they're not fast enough. They're just not fast enough. You've got to take out that royal giant and distract him. And here it is, the inferno. Now tag him, tag him, no, no. Ah! See, that's the worst case scenario for us. 
if there's other troops around and the Inferno doesn't lock on to the giant, good game, Beak. You're done. So there, we definitely got hit. We definitely got hit. This guy did a good push and he had some supporting troops to distract our Inferno. Now, again, he's got the Minion Horde. We're, we were able to counter at that time because we could anticipate it, but still, that thing is dirty. It, it takes him down. We still get a couple hits in. Boom. So he's coming up again. We countered at the last second there. See, he's actually still on the bridge. He's like about to step off the bridge. So that is when you want to drop that Inferno. When he's about to step off the bridge, boom. Nice arrows. I love it. <laughs> Those are sick arrows. <laughs> good game. No good game? No? Nah, bro. No good game. So anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Let me know what you're thinking about counters to the Royal Giant. And I'll see you next time. Peace.